David Murphy is the man accompanying Colm up the stairs this time, and between them they're going to be pitching an invention which they believe can revolutionise the supply of domestic water. Although Colm's face has clearly rung a few bells for the dragons, it's David who kicks off their presentation. Hello, my name is David Murphy, and this is Colm. We're here today to ask you for €30,000 for a 10% share in our product, Roof Shoot. Our Roof Shoot collects rainwater. It works by gravity feed. When it rains, the water is fed directly from the roof chute into the storage tank in your attic. This, this product is a very effective way of harvesting rainwater. And, and seeing as there's only one and a half million houses in Ireland, we could lead the way in rainwater harvesting. Colin, do you want to explain some how it works? Just turn on the, the rain. Your typical rainwater harvesting system collects the water at this level here, the roof chute level. It's brought down to storage tanks in the ground, usually underground and very expensive storage tanks. It's pumped from there back up to the storage tank in the attic. Our roof chute is able to collect the water above the storage level in the attic and feed the water by gravity feed straight into the storage tank. No need for pumping. Dragons, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. On the face of it, the roof chute seems like a simple and timely invention, particularly with the cost of domestic water likely to rise. But Niall's first question has nothing to do with the product. I'm totally distracted here. We, were you That's the dragons from last year. On a curtain thing. The curtain goes, yes. I was very rude to you last year, Callum. It's going to be it much was... nicer this year. And you're back? Yes. For more money? New product. God, you're very determined. Well, we didn't get the money the last that. time, so. Yeah, all right. OK, let's, let's go back to... So do you want to explain, Colm, how it works? I hope this is a bit better. <laughs> huh? Well, water is very precious at the moment, so... Indeed. You can have, depending on the householder, how many tanks they want in their attic, you can store 800 litres of water up there. And how do you clean the water? Is it just going straight in? As we have um, a polyurethane gutter sponge. It's an open cell sponge that fits into this and it, it takes the sediment out of the water before it enters the first tank. And by doing so, it complies with the new regulations for rainwater harvesting. But it's only in a situation where you're actually paying for water that, uh, well, that, that it would have... Shortly, we will be all paying for water. Yeah. Um, I'd imagine. And the way water is charged is charged for uh, water in, water out. So you're actually paying for the water going out. Right. It's actually more expensive for the water going out. So. If by harvesting it here, storing it in your attic, using it in your toilets, wash machines or your commercial premises, cleaning it, if you like, bring it to the next level, um, you don't have to pay for the water out because it's not charged going in. Yeah. So you avail of the double yeah. on it. The guy's low-key presentation style is disarming and their product seems to be definitely worthy of consideration. Sarah Newman wants to find out more about the men behind the roof shoot. Hi, David. Hi, Colm. Hello, Sarah. Hey. I'm Sarah. Hi, Sarah. What have you been doing, Colm, for the last 12 months? I'm a BER assessor, building energy rater, and uh, I've been assessing houses. Uh, OK, so that's what you've been doing. What's your background, David? I work for a construction company in Ireland. I have been for the last 20 years. OK, thank you. Colm, you do have some good ideas, but aesthetically they sometimes don't look that great. This on a roof could look unsightly, but that's not my concern. You know, this is down towards the bottom of Just that above the storage particular level. roof. And therefore, uh, instead of birds, instead of perching on the top of the roof in the wind, will sort of be able to perch on this in a nice shelter, do their droppings into that, uh, which now becomes a sort of an open sewer along uh, your roof. And that feeds into your domestic water tanks Mm. Um, it's non-potable water. Uh, the water, we're, we're allowing for uh, bird droppings up along the full length of the roof. Um, we use a, what's called the first flush system. It can be used inside. The UV filtered in is the next one after that, which can bring the rainwater to a level where you can use it in showers. Um, not drinking water. We don't want to go to the drinking water level. Gentlemen. This is really not something that I uh, fully understand. Um, and I don't think that I can, I can help you bring this to where 
it, it needs to go. So I'm going to declare myself out. Thank you. Bird poo or no, Sarah is dropping out. And if there seems to be some confusion about how the roof chute works, Sean has some questions about its installation. Who fits it? Is it a plumber or a carpenter? A carpenter will fit the uh, roof chute itself. Uh, and you... So do I need a carpenter and a plumber? You'll have to work off a hoist on the outside to get it to fit it. You can't work off a ladder, so I suppose a plumber or a carpenter could fit it outside. Do you see any particular challenge in a carpenter fitting it? No, no problem. What happens if there's a leak internally in the roof space at the tank where somebody has connected the chute to the tank and hasn't made the connection on the plumbing joint properly? Who's going to be responsible for the plumbing damage that's going to occur? Of course. It has to be a plumber when it goes inside the roof, Sean, you're dead right. You haven't this thought out very well, lads, have you? On your typical two, two and a half thousand square foot house, what's this going to cost the consumer? To bring it to a level just for toilets and wash machine, you'd fit this labour costs of your plumber and for under a thousand euro into the house, fully fitted. Can I get in here for a minute? I think this is an idea that was drummed up two days ago, or at the most two weeks ago. Um, I don't think it's been thought through. I think if something goes wrong in this, it goes very wrong. You're talking about if something gets blocked, floods, it's absolute poppycock. And finally, for me to go through all that and then end up with what looks like a urinal on my roof. <laughs> That's what I'll end up with. I think it's absolutely crazy, and I'm out. Well, after promising not to be rude, Bobby has once again rained on Colum's parade. It was a pretty damning verdict, but it remains to be seen whether any of the others will take a different view. David and Colum, um, thank you for coming in uh, today. Colum, particularly thank you for coming back. Uh, and I hope you come back uh, for a third series, because I think third time lucky, uh, hopefully it'll be, because you have a great head for inventions, but uh, this is another one I'm passing on. I'm out. Thank you, Kevin. There, there, you have something. Um, I'm hugely concerned, though. It really only is usable for, I'm going to say, toilet water. You might say washing machines, but, you know, without any of the proper filtering systems, it's really only loo water is yeah. what we're talking. Uh, and if you look at the cost benefit of that, to really just sister and water, uh, I, I would think that you have a lot of work to do on it. I'd have to tell you on this one, I'm out. Okay, thank you. Once again, it seems that Colum's dreams might be trickling away. But maybe Sean Gallagher has seen something that his fellow dragons have missed. I really do genuinely believe in rain water harvesting, both from uh, a green point of view and also from an economic point of view. But you have a very rough prototype at a very early stage of development and you haven't thought of a route to market because you don't know whether it's carpenters or plumbers. So you have the beginning of a very good idea, but you are not at an investor ready stage. So for that reason, I am out. Thank you. Thanks, David. Thanks, Colin. Thanks, Thanks Thank you. See you Thank next you. year. So another pitch ends in disappointment for Colin, but he definitely has his admirers in the den. Sean, you're totally right in every way. A great product in the green and the economically, but it's just so rough and ready. But he's a great trier. Absolutely, yeah.